Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're glad to have you this evening at our StriveScan Texas ACAC 6x6 Virtual College Fair. This evening, we will hear from six institutions, uh, the University of Houston Clear Lake, University of Central Arkansas, University of Arkansas, University of Mississippi, Texas State Technical College, and San Jack College. Uh, as a reminder, all attendees, your microphones are muted and your cameras are turned off. You can ask questions of universities and institutions through the Q&A box below. They'll answer as they can. If you don't get your questions answered before the end of the session, they do get a transcript and will follow up accordingly. So uh, without further ado, I will turn it over to the University of Houston Clear Lake to get us started. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get started here. Still loading, I think. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for attending. My name is Dante Vo. I will be your enrollment management counselor, and my job is to help you through the application process and make sure you go through it smoothly and not have any issues. Let's get started. So real quick, here is some fun information about UHCL. Um, we have four different academic colleges, and you can kind of differentiate them by um, kind of um, thinking of them as sort of the Hogwarts houses. Each college has their own um, uh, area and specific interests. And so we have the College of Business, the College of Human Science and Humanities, College of Education, and the College of Science and Engineering. Um, we have about 9,100 students right now. So we're a medium sized school, but despite our size, our student to faculty ratio is only 17 to one. So this means you'll never enter you know, your English class or your history class and have 300 of your closest friends and family in your class. The biggest class, and I guarantee you the biggest class you'll have is 60, maybe 70 students and your upper level classes are even smaller. Um, and we're also built on a beautiful wildlife preservation. There's lots of greenery um, in the mornings and in the evenings. You can drive past and see deer grazing, you know, less than five feet away from your car. They're not even scared to, to graze right next to cars spinning past them. It's a great campus to come visit. Here is a list of majors that we offer. Um, all of the majors that have a green square next to them is a teacher certification that you can get for that major. And anything with a orange square next to it means that you can get a dual bachelor's and master's degree in that field. Um, a few of our popular degrees are of course, the teacher certifications, um, the healthcare administration major that we have, and of course, the College of Science and Engineering degrees that we have in that college. Next up, we definitely want you to have fun while you're at UHCL. We you know not just study and do homework. Um, so we have some student organizations that you can join. We have your typical ones that are more um, career and academic focused. And then we have your fun ones where you can um, go volunteer with students or um, you know meet up with some friends every week and watch some anime. If there's an interest you have and we don't have a club for it, don't worry. You can get some friends and a faculty advisor and congratulations, you can start your own club. Um, if you want to live on campus, we do have two housing options, um, but I just want to let you know that we do not require any incoming freshmen to live on campus. It is completely up to you. Um, if you do, we do have two wonderful options for you. The first option is Hunter Hall. This is your typical um, dorm style residence hall that you can find in the heart of campus. You can wake up you know, 15 minutes before class starts and still make it in time. Um, there's a variety of different suite style rooms that you can choose from, um, but more importantly, there's laundry on every floor, free internet, and it's a very safe and secure facility. Um, anyone who is not a student or a staff member that lives or works in that building cannot get in. Um, so even if you have a friend that um, you know, goes to school with you, but they don't live at Hunter Hall, they cannot get in without you. It's that secure. And if you, you know, um, you're a transfer student or you like to cook, um, or if you want to bring your pet with you to college, um, this is a apartment style 
dorm that we have on campus. Um, it's still on campus, it's just not in the heart of campus. And this one has a kitchen that you can cook your food in, and that you can see a pool that you can swim in. Um, and this one, you would have your own bedroom and a um, bathroom to share. And of course, I'm sure you're wondering how should you apply? What are the requirements to get in now that you've heard all of the wonderful things we have to offer? Um, so I'm happy to let you know that we are doing test optional right now for incoming freshmen. And this means that um, for admission purposes, we will look at your class rank and your unweighted GPA on a 4.0 scale to be admitted. Um, as long as you have the corresponding rank and this corresponding GPA, it is assured admissions. Um, don't worry if you don't meet the GPA requirements, you will be in individual review. Um, so your application will be looked at holistically. Um, in order to apply, you would just go on to applytexas.org to fill out the application. We do have a $45 application fee, um, but if you have a fee waiver, you can definitely have your counselor email it to us at admissions at uhcl.edu. Um, please make sure you send us your, your dual credit or early college transcript if you have um, those transcripts, as well as AP credits if you have those as well. And if you do want to use your SAT scores, um, that's also great. These are the regular requirements we have that do use SAT scores. Um, and like I said, this is assured admissions right here as well. I really do encourage you guys to submit your SAT scores um, if you have them, even if you don't want to use them, um, because if you don't meet one of the requirements that you see right here, you'll still have to take the TSI before you're able to register for classes. Um, so if your SAT or ACT score is high enough to waive it, I highly encourage that you send those scores in as well. And if you want to attend a community college such as the Jacinto, um, Alvin, Lee College, et cetera, before you attend UHCO um, and then apply as a transfer student, that's a great option. Um, as you can see here, the requirements would be dependent on how many credit hours you have. So the more credit hours you have, the lower the GPA needed in order to be um, admitted. Um, so if you're coming in with an associate's degree, you'd only need a 2.0 GPA to be admitted as an incoming transfer student. Um, once you apply, make sure you check your email and we'll um, send you an email with follow-up instructions on how to access your portal. And just make sure that you fill out FAFSA as well in case you qualify for our Hawk Promise. And that's it. Please have a good evening and let us know if you have any questions. I'll answer any questions in the chat box as well. Thanks so much. That's a great reminder. Uh, anybody attending, you can ask questions during the entire presentation, you do not have to wait for the institution to present that you're interested in. Next up, we have uh, the University of Central Arkansas. Take it away, Sydney. Awesome, thank you so much. So I am also gonna go ahead and share my screen, but really quick, my name is Sydney. I'm an admissions counselor for the University of Central Arkansas. Um, we are the Bears. We are centrally located in Arkansas. Um, so just some facts. Fast facts about UCA. We are 30 miles from Little Rock, which is our state capital. So I like to say that Conway is like the best of both worlds. You're going to get the city life when you go to the state capital, but if you're more about the outdoorsy life, then you can have that too. Um, luckily, we are within two to three hours of any direction of Arkansas. So um, you're easily able to get anywhere. We don't have any toll roads, so that's super nice. Um, if you are a senior, our applications are still open and we're still awarding scholarships. I'll talk more about that a little bit later. Um, we are test optional though. If you have a 3.0 GPA or higher, if you have below a 3.0, then you will need to submit um, your ACT or SAT scores. On campus, it is a 15 to one student to faculty ratio and we have about 10,000 students. So I like to say, you know, it's like Goldilocks. It is just right. You can always walk around campus and always see someone that you know. Um, me being an out-of-state student when I was there, it was so nice being able to quickly make friends and always have a familiar face around. Um, we also are Division I Athletics. So we have 18 different teams. And the great thing about that is they are completely free to go to and you'll get free things at the games as well. So definitely take advantage of that. Our student life, we have 200 student clubs and organizations and counting. So if you're looking through the list and you're like, there's not you know, a knitting club or whatever you're interested in, they're very, 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 there could be a knitting club. 
but you, you can start at your own club or organization on campus. So that's something super awesome that we offer. We do have Greek life, we have intramural sports, and we do offer study abroad. Right now it's looking a little different with COVID, but hopefully fingers crossed we'll get back to normal and we'll be able to fully offer that service again. Housing, so living on campus, your first year, you have two different options. You have the freshman experience residence halls, which are more traditional. You go down the hallway to the bathroom, um, you share a room with one other person, um, and you have people of different majors all around you versus the residential colleges, which is a building specifically designated for a specific college on campus and they have a live-in professor, but we have more information about that on our website, or you can ask me as well. Our tuition and fees. So this is the breakdown for this school year. Um, however, you're probably thinking, but I'm an out-of-state student. I have good news for you. We do offer in-state tuition fees for our out-of-state students, as long as they live on campus. That is it. So, these numbers will pertain to you. Um, scholarship deadlines, like I mentioned. So the Distinguished and Achievement Scholarship deadline has already passed. However, the University and Future Leader Scholarships are still up for grabs until May 3rd. So definitely get those applications in. These, this is all the criteria. So you're looking at these bottom two down here. Campus tours, we are offering them right now on our campus. We do have many different restrictions and CDC guidelines to follow, but we are able to give those campus tours. Go to gopurple.uca.edu and you can go ahead and sign up for your day and time to make sure that you have your spot set in place. Those do fill up really quickly, but we do offer them twice a day, every day, Monday through Friday. So that is everything that I have for y'all, but here's my contact information. So feel free to call or text me at this number below. And um, if you have your phone available, go ahead and uh, hit that QR code. It was great talking to y'all and send any questions you have in the chat. Thanks, Sydney, appreciate that. Next up, we have the University of Arkansas. Hi, everybody. If you will give me just a second. Oh, Sydney, can you stop sharing your screen? I thought I, I did. Can... Okay, you're welcome, no problem. There we go. Thank you okay, guys for joining me tonight. I was getting my share screen for you. My name is Jennifer Fowler. I'm Associate Director for National Recruitment here at the University of Arkansas. And I have just a few overview slides for you about the U of A, and then I'll share my information there at the end for you. Um, University of Arkansas is located in Fayetteville, Arkansas. We have been ranked one of the top five best places to live in America. This year, we fell to number six, but for five straight years, we've been in the top five to top 10 by US News and World Report. So Fayetteville is a great college town. There's about 85,000 people in the town of Fayetteville and then our metropolitan area what we refer to as northwest Arkansas is going to have well over a half a million people you'll see there that we're ranked in one of the top 25 outdoor college towns because we are located there in the heart of the Ozark Mountains so the picture there in the bottom corner uh, I actually grew up about 10 minutes from that and that's one of the most popular places to go hike there in northwest Arkansas you'll see there on the map we're anywhere from five to ten hours from most of the major cities in the state of Texas and because of that we've actually been the number number one choice for Texans outside of the state of Texas for the past several years. We enroll anywhere from about 1,500 to 1,600 students from Texas in our new freshman class every year. So you definitely won't be alone. 50% of our freshmen come from outside of the state of Arkansas as well. So those are just a couple of different things for you to do in and around the area. I always like to encourage students to be sure to check out the town. Make sure the campus has your major, honors college, anything you're looking for, but you all will be residing there for four years as well. So um, it's definitely a cool town. Be sure to, to check out Northwest. Arkansas if you get a chance to come visit. As far as things to do on campus, we do have a large out-of-state population. Getting you all guys connected is very important. So we have over 400 total student organizations at the University of Arkansas. Those are split into things like religious group, multicultural organizations, um, your religious groups. We have a club for twins, a club for people that like Dr. Pepper, and then of course Greek life. We have over 35 total fraternities and sororities, and about one in three of our students do go Greek. So that is a big part of campus. If not, two-thirds are non-Greek. So you have a lot of other options for you. In terms of academics, we have seven academic colleges at the University of Arkansas. I'm going to list those and then I'll kind of tell you what's popular on campus right now. Our smallest school is the Fajon School of Architecture and Design. 
We had the Dell Bumpers College of Agricultural Food and Life Sciences, the J. William Fulbright College of Arts and Sciences. We have a College of Engineering, a College of Education and Health Professions, the Sam M. Walton College of Business, and then of course our prestigious Honors College. Our largest majors right now include things like nursing. The nursing school is very popular. Biology pre-med students followed closely there by exercise science, maybe prepping to go on to PT or OT school. Um, finance, marketing, accounting, the business college has a bunch in the top 10. Journalism, strategic media, Oh goodness, English is pretty big, psychology. Those are probably in our top 10 largest majors. We are well known for anything from animal science to accounting, so wide variety there. Um, if you have any questions on majors, please use the Q&A box. You'll see our 18 to one student-teacher ratio across campus. And then there's our last enrollment right under, uh, right under 28,000. So that is total enrollment. Undergrad running about 23,000. Uh, study abroad, if you're interested in doing that, that is something we definitely pride ourselves on. We've been recognized as one of the top five best study abroad programs in the US. We send anyway about 11 to 1200 students across the world and we actually do have a campus in Rome. We've had our Rome campus for 30 years now um, so we actually teach core classes. You can go over there and take uh, college algebra or English so if you just like to go over it's located six blocks from the Vatican. And then there of course in the corner Senior Walk is one of our most popular traditions. We're the only university in the nation that continues to honor its graduates by etching their names along the sidewalk. So over four miles long 170 5,000 names strong. We have it mapped out for several more years, so you're good to go. Mine's located right there across from the Greek Theater, so it's a very proud tradition here at the University of Arkansas. Real quick, I wanted to touch base on our scholarship program. We call this the New Arkansan Non-Resident Tuition Award. This program is basically here to help you afford to go out of state, if that makes sense. When you start going out of state, of course, you're not a taxpayer of that state. So you're going to get a lot more in that tuition, that extra out of state non resident tuition. This scholarship is awarded based on GPA for the class of 21. We're also extending that to the class of 22. If you apply to the University of Arkansas and you meet our minimum admission requirements, then you have one of the corresponding GPAs on the screen. You will automatically receive this scholarship that can cover 70, 80, or 90 percent of the difference between in-state and out-of-state tuition. And then this award can kind of get you down to what prices would be here in the state of Texas. So again, a lot more affordable to go out of state. Uh, we moved test optional for the class of 21. Currently, we're going back to requiring test scores for the class of 22. So you'd have to meet our automatic admission based on GPA and test score, but then this scholarship will only be GPA based, okay? Um, the only thing about GPA, be sure to ask universities what GPA they use. We recalculate our own weighted GPA. So we use core and non-core classes, but we only wait for AP, dual credit, or IB. So again, every university does that different. That's very, very, very important to ask. And then last slide here, of course, our deadlines. If you are class of 22, we go live on July the 15th on the Common app, or we have our own institutional app. The priority deadline is November 1st. You have to apply to gain access to the additional competitive scholarship application, which is due then November the 15th, okay? Uh, there's two of us. We both do reside in Dallas, but we split up the state. And so if you wanna take a quick picture of that, that is our contact information. And then um, those are our cell phones. So if y'all have any questions, you're more than welcome to text Lexi or myself, and then I'll be on for the rest of the presentation in the Q&A box. Uh, thank you guys so much, and go Hogs. Thanks so much. Next up, we have the University of Mississippi. Hi guys, so nice to see all of you. Not really see anybody, because I'm not seeing anybody's faces, but you can see mine, so that's good, right? Um, I'm going to share my screen real quick so we can get started. Um, my name is Rocky Forson. I'm with the University of Mississippi or Ole Miss, as you may have heard us called. We would like to help you build your legacy at Ole Miss. So um, in the state of Texas, we have two of us, myself, um, and I live in Houston, Texas, cover all the counties in blue on the little state of Texas you see up up in the corner. And we also have Patrick who is also here with me and he covers the counties in red and Oklahoma. So if you have questions for either of us, we're both happy to work with you and do whatever we can to help you become a rebel. Ole Miss is located in Oxford, Mississippi. Oxford, Mississippi is in far North Mississippi, about only about an hour South of Memphis, Tennessee. It's a small town. 
Um, we are one of the best college towns in the nation by several organizations, and um, I absolutely agree. The city of Oxford is about 18,000 permanent residents, and we have about 18,000 students on campus in Oxford, Mississippi. So that's an interesting kind of duality there where you're able to absolutely become a part of the city that you will live in. So for our academic majors at the university, we have a lot of opportunities for you to choose what you wanna study. Um, most of our majors are direct admit, meaning that you will not have to apply to get into the major. If that's what you choose to study, that's what you'll be able to study at Ole Miss. I'll note the ones that are um, competitive in a minute. We have a school of pharmacy where there's an opportunity for early admission where you would be admitted to the PharmD program before you even start college. We have general studies that will house our freshman or undeclared majors. Um, we have journalism and new media where you can either go into broadcasting and traditional journalism or you can do an integrated marketing and communications program, which is one of our newer programs and also one of the quickest growing. So that's a, a great opportunity there. Our College of Liberal Arts is divided into far, four parts, the traditional sciences, the social sciences, the arts, and the humanities. So those are the parts of our College of Liberal Arts. Uh, there's a lot of different opportunities in there and it's our largest college probably because there's so many different chances to uh, major in different things. School of Business, um, everything from banking, finance, econ, marketing, um, real estate, risk management. Uh, those are some pretty unique programs. We have a School of Applied Sciences where we can use the knowledge that we have built to help um, society. Our School of Education for any of the opportunities to become a teacher. And uh, School of Engineering, uh, eight ABET accredited or 10 ABET accredited programs that you have the opportunity to choose from. Pre-professional areas are ones that you get to study, but say that you intend to do some other kind of professional program after college. So it's law school, med school, dental school, pre-vet, different things like that. Um, we have a really phenomenal health professions advising office to help you out if you are looking at some of the health professions uh, careers. So that could be something that would be really interesting for you. Our special programs that are in um, competitive to get into, meaning that we do have a cap to the number of enrollees, are um, Arabic and Chinese flagship. Our Center for Intelligence Studies, which is a direct training ground for uh, the intelligence community, CIA, FBI, DEA, et cetera. The Mississippi Excellence in Teaching Program is a advanced teaching um, platform. Trent Lott Leadership Institute, our Barksdale Honors College and the Croft Inter Institute for International Studies. Ole Miss student life is huge. Um, that's one of the biggest reasons I believe that people choose Ole Miss is because of our vibrant student life. We have um, Greek life on our campus. Two thirds of our freshmen joined a fraternity or sorority last year, hundreds of student organizations. And of course, we're super big fans of our SEC Rebels so that we are always going to games and supporting our Rebels in whichever way possible. Um, housing, our freshmen do live on campus for their first year. You have the choice of traditional or contemporary halls. Traditional is the ones where you have a bathroom down the hall and you go down and you um, share a room with another student. Contemporary is a little bit more private. Um, you, there are opportunities to stay on campus after that, but most of our freshmen do move off camp, or most of our students do move off campus after their freshman year. Um, financial aid, uh, about 80% of our students do receive some sort of financial aid or scholarships to attend the university. We're very uh, transparent with the scholarships that we offer as well as our fees to attend. So here you can see the build expenses to the university, about 35,000 a year is the cost to attend Ole Miss with no discounts or, or scholarships applied. And um, this next page, you can see some of our scholarships. These are automatic and they are rolling. It is not something that you have to have your application in by a certain point to get. You can submit test scores in order to get the scholarships all the way up to the point of enrollment. So that's really kind of a nice thing to know. 
some of our other additional scholarships, a uh, special note for non-resident children of alumni get some pretty nice scholarships and STEM students will as well. Um, app applying is pretty easy at Ole Miss. You can apply through Common App or our institutional app. Um, we will only need your transcripts and test scores and the application in order to uh, process. So it's not something that you would need to have essays, letters of recommendation and things like that. That's it. Um, just in time, right, Jeff? Perfect. Phenomenal. I know. I know. Nice job. Thank you so much. Appreciate that, Rocky. Uh, next up, we have Texas State Technical College. All right, guys, give me just one second. I'm going to share my screen here as well. All right. So my name's Kent Weed. I'm one of the student recruitment representatives out of the Fort Bend campus of TSTC uh, or Texas State Technical College. We are a two year technical college. Um, to say that we're a little bit different, it's probably an understatement. So rather than the traditional academic education, uh, we go through a very hands-on uh, educational process. We have 10 locations statewide. Uh, this is just a, a map of the locations that we offer in the state of Texas. Um, four of these locations do have on-campus housing. Uh, the rest of the campuses are what they would consider commuter campuses. So our Sweetwater, our Waco, Marshall, and Harlingen campuses offer on-campus housing. Um, and depending on the program of study, uh, that would determine which campus you would want to attend and uh, whether or not housing would be available for you. Uh, we were founded back in 1965, uh, originally part of the Texas A&M college system. Uh, shortly thereafter, we, we branched out on our own to become our own college system um, and continue to this day having um, agreements and, and, and working with a and as well as other colleges and universities. Um, we are SACS accredited, so uh, some of our students will see themselves going on to a bachelor's, if not master's or doctorate uh, long term as far as their education. So um, with TSTC, you can look to go further in your educational process. Um, over the 10 locations, we have over 50 pro 50 programs of study. Um, here on our website, you can see uh, we list out the programs uh, alphabetically. Uh, a lot of us though, we like to go into browse by industry, it just kind of cleans things up a little bit, gives everybody a, a better understanding of where they wanna go in regard to their pathway to their career. Um, so you can see here, we've got everything from general academics, uh, applied health, aviation, uh, business, computer sciences, uh, construction and maintenance, engineering and manufacturing, environment and safety, graphic design, hospitality, and transportation. Uh, so depending on the program that you choose, um, we have a range of programs from certificate one uh, program, cert, CERT two, as well as Associates of Applied Science. And depending on what level of the program that you go to will determine the cost. Uh, a good ballpark in cost is going to be uh, anywhere from roughly $6,000 for a certificate one uh, up to as much as maybe um, $14,000 or $15,000 for an Associates of Applied Science. Um, then as far as admissions, uh, TSTC is an open enrollment college. So uh, as long as you have a high school diploma or a GED, you're good to go. Uh, we do not have a, an SAT or ACT requirement, uh, nor a GPA requirement. Um, some of the programs, we do have a handful of programs that do have additional requirements to them. Um, but in general, uh, most of our students will see that they come and apply, they'll be accepted to the college and uh, 
go straight into their program. With the application, uh, we've definitely simplified the application process uh, to allow for students to get in as easily as possible uh, with that as little fuss as possible, uh, while also opening up some opportunities for us to actually um, start the, the conversation with the student and continue on further from there, uh, going on into the enrollment process. Uh, as far as other documents required, uh, bacterial meningitis vaccination, uh, if the students are going for a CERT II or Associates of Applied Science, uh, there will be a TSI requirement and um, they can utilize SAT and ACT scores to waive that TSI requirement. Going back to the main site here, um, we do accept traditional financial aid, the FAFSA, uh, we definitely encourage most of our students to fill that out as with um, scholarship opportunities. Uh, it can help pre-qualify for some of those additional scholarship opportunities that are out there. Uh, we also accept uh, military veteran uh, benefits as well. And uh, so uh, moving on to student life, student life for our students uh, kind of takes a back burner. We are a little bit different, like I said, uh, because we are doing hands-on technical education. Uh, our students are more geared towards getting their um, knowledge and experience and getting out into the workforce at a much more rapid pace. And so uh, while we do have events on campuses uh, for the students to, to get together and hang out. Um, and also there are student organizations and uh, groups to uh, compete. For the most part, most of our students are focused more on getting out into that workforce and getting on with their career. Um, TSTC prides itself on the career placement. We have our career services group that work with the students uh, from everything from resume building, interviewing skills, and then career placement as they're getting closer to their, their graduation. Um, my colleague is answering questions in the, the question and answer area, and he's also gonna post our information in the, the chat area. Uh, if you do have more questions, we'd be more than happy to uh, stick around and answer those for you later, or you can reach out to us uh, via our information. Thanks, Kent, appreciate that very much. Uh, last this evening, we have Stephanie with Sanjak College. All right. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking with me. Um, I'm going to make this as short and sweet as possible while giving you some good information. So my name is Stephanie Funderburg, and I am an outreach advisor for San Jacinto College. If you've never heard of San Jacinto College before, we are located primarily in the Houston area, Houston, Texas. Um, we have five campus locations currently. They're all gonna be mostly on the east side of Houston. Um, and we have a variety of degree and certificate options as you'll see. So a little bit about San Jacinto College. We were started in 1961. We were named as an Aspen Institute top 10 finalists for this year, which places us in the top 10 out of 1100 community colleges across the United States. We're very excited about this distinction and we're looking forward to finding out um, our placement a little bit later this year. We're the third largest community college in Houston and the eighth largest community college in the state of Texas. And last year, we received the 2020 Excellence and Equity in Community College STEM Award winner for two of our STEM programs for our nursing program and our process technology program. So we were very honored to receive those distinctions um, for those two programs. And they are two of our very popular programs. So at San Jacinto College, we have eight career pathways that, as I mentioned, cover a variety of technical and academic degree and certificate options. 
So nursing and process technology would be two of our most popular programs. We actually have a brand new Lyondell Bissell P-Tech building um, where process technology happens. And we also have added a BSN program, if that is something that you're interested in, um, to our nursing program. We also offer culinary, cosmetology, STEM programs. Um, we have tons of different computer uh, programs, degree and certificate options, as well as life sciences. So if you're wanting to continue on to perhaps medical school, that could be an option. We do also have a variety of construction industry manufacturing and transportation options, including construction management, welding, again, process technology, instrumentation. We do have education, health sciences. In addition to nursing, we have medical assisting, we have surgical tech, respiratory care, and a variety of other ones. Um, we also offer criminal justice, and as I mentioned, cosmetology. We have a brand new cosmetology building uh, on both our north and south campuses. And then in social and behavioral sciences is where you'll find subjects such as psychology and sociology. We also do offer transfer agreements. This is a common thing that I hear is I've been told that if I start at community college, I can't transfer on to university. And that's definitely not true. As you can see, these are just some of the transfer agreements we have in place with a variety of different universities across the state of Texas. And certainly if you're wanting to go on to a university that is outside of the state, maybe one that you've heard from today, that's definitely a possibility. But by coming to San Jacinto College, you're not sacrificing on the college experience, which is another thing I hear for pretty commonly. We do have a very active campus life in a non-COVID year. We have a variety of student engagement events as well as clubs. So if you're interested in maybe doing some rec sports, um, joining an organization like Anime Club or Student Government, we definitely have all of those opportunities in addition to fine arts performances in music, dance, and theater. And we are also an open enrollment college. So that means if you have graduated from high school and you'd like to come to San Jack, we definitely would love to have you be a part of our San Jack fam. So our application process and admissions process is fairly simple. You'll start by doing the free application at Apply Texas. We do not require the SAT or ACT, and we also do not have a GPA minimum. However, if you took the SAT or ACT, there are scores that could potentially exempt you from having to take the TSI. If not, we do offer the TSI on our campuses and our testing center where you could take that with us. If you've already taken the TSI, no worries. We have a form that you can fill out and send that directly to me and we'll get that processed for you. We also, like everyone else in the state of Texas, require the meningitis vaccination record. That can't be older than five years, as well as your official high school transcript. Remember, we want it to be the final one showing your graduation date. And if you've taken dual credit classes at another college or university, we'll also need that transcript as well. So here's just a little bit of how you can follow us and find some more information about CN Jack. We are on Twitter and Instagram and newly on TikTok. Um, you can follow us at, at SJC underscore recruiting and use that ask CN Jack hashtag so we can help answer any questions that you might have. I'm gonna leave my personal contact information in the chat, but if you'd like to reach out to any outreach advisor that we have, you can email student.recruitment at sjcd.edu. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope that you'll consider San Jacinto College. Thanks, Stephanie, appreciate that. Well, since uh, we've got a few minutes here, I'd like to invite all the representatives to, to come back on camera, so to speak. And, and this evening, I'm gonna ask them to, to give us an interesting or fun fact about their college or university. So uh, we'll go in order that we presented. So University of Houston, Clear Lake will go first and then, but yeah, what is an interesting or fun fact about your school before we wrap up this evening? 
Yes, so definitely my favorite fun fact about UHCL is that we were originally founded to help educate astronauts for NASA. Um, so as you know, we're in the Clear Lake area. And so um, the state of Texas saw that there was a need for higher education um, in the Clear Lake area. And so as a result, um, our students have internships with NASA. A lot of our faculty and staff previously worked at NASA. Um, so it's definitely a, a very interesting fact. Very nice, thank you. Um, let's see, we've had Central Arkansas. Sydney, what do you think? Yeah, so we are actually uh, one of nine football venues with non-traditional colors. So if you don't know, our school colors are purple and gray, which was founded from two people who met up one day. They had on a purple sweater and a gray scarf. And they're like, those are our school colors. And we are one of two schools in the NCAA with a striped football field. The other one is up in Idaho at Boise State, and then the other one is us. Very fun, very fun. Uh, University of Arkansas, Jennifer. So our fun fact, we are the one and only Razorback mascot in all of college sports, and we currently have 14 NCAA spring sports and competition right now in the Southeastern Conference that are ranked in the top 25. And with that, I would like to say, woo pig suey, go Hawks. Very fun. Ole Miss, what do you got for us, Rocky? Okay, so my favorite fa fact about Ole Miss is kind of having to do with the city of Oxford. So the city of Oxford was founded in order to host the first or the first comprehensive university in the state of Mississippi and the flagship of Mississippi. So from its very beginning, Oxford was all about the university and supporting its uh, its presence and its students. Very fun. And then I know you're a little different, but Kent, what do you got for a Texas State Technical College? Let me unmute, unmute first. So I uh, want, like I said, we are a little bit different. Um, and I didn't want anybody to get bummed out because I said we didn't have a whole lot of student life. Uh, we definitely do have student life. It's just not on the same level as most of the traditional colleges. Uh, so one of the things that we do statewide at each of the campuses throughout the year is a thing called Tech Sand Day. Um, and it's where the student clubs, things of that nature, they get together. They have food, games, prizes, all kinds of stuff on each individual campus uh, and just get the students together. Hopefully, I, you know, I don't know if it'll be this year. Uh, I know it was last year it was canceled, um, but you know, hopefully this COVID thing will get under control and we'll be able to get back to entertaining our students on campus. I think we all can agree to want to do that. So, uh, and then Stephanie, wrap us up. What do you got for us? Well, I have a pretty fun, fun fact. Um, now, students may not know this name, but uh, one of the things that I've heard pretty consistently is no one famous ever went to a community college. And I like to debunk that by saying one of our best known uh, alumni is actually Patrick Swayze. So students, if you don't know who that is, please don't tell me and break my heart, but please go watch a Patrick Swayze movie. Um, but it's really cool because his mom was a teacher and taught dance. And so he did attend San Jacinto College before moving on. So you can go to community college and become famous. So are you saying because she teaches dance, we should have them watch Dirty Dancing? I mean, I'm not gonna advocate for anyone <laughs> Patrick Swayze movie. But I'm saying that's what he was famous for. So fair enough. It's up to the students to decide. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, I want to certainly thank all the universities and institutions representatives for your time this evening. Students and parents, thanks so much for attending. There are two more sessions tonight, so feel free to sign up and join and learn about other institutions. For this group of uh, six schools, uh, this has been recorded. You can certainly look at it later. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to follow up with the universities and colleges. There will be a quick survey afterwards. And with that, I will say good night on behalf of StriveScan and the six schools. Thanks for your time tonight. Have a great evening. Stay safe. Bye-bye now.